All right, we're going to make it easy, folks. Time to make the monies. Got to make the monies. Put on my Hannibal Lecter mask. I'll be back. Let's go, let's go, let's go make the monies. All right, Jack, where you at? You're three minutes late. I got here on time. You should be here on time. Let's go. My dang cameras, I don't know what's going on with them. My, uh, my 360 camera keeps recording for like a minute or two and then it just shuts off. The GoPro that I'm recording on. Yeah, my fucking GoPro is me to fuck God shit only records one fucking video and GoPro you fuck my <laughs> Okay, rant over. <laughs> All right, I got Haley's Taco Bell. French Wrap Supreme. Mountain Dew Baja Blast coming in. Got to take this one to a hospital. Which means I'm probably gonna get lost. Head southwest on McCorkle Drive, EX detour to US 60 West, then turn right onto US 60 West. Okay, I turned right on US 60 West. Continue on US 60 West for three quarters of a mile. Three quarters of a mile. Turn right onto South Main Street, then you will arrive at your destination. Are you sure? Come on. You told me that before and that was bullshit. All right, it wasn't a hospital, it was kind of a little clinic thing. All right, we're heading back to McDonald's. I'm jumping now. That's a good thing because I'm making the monies. I'm rich, biatch. All right, this is what I'm talking about. We got orders coming in, six to eight bucks a pop. I never get any of the big, gigantic orders like you see them other guys on YouTube picking up. Biggest order I've ever gotten was head southeast toward the US 60 West. Twelve dollars. That's why all them little $2 ones to that other town, they can piss off. Just jog on. I ain't coming. I'm heading out of town on this one. Going out in the country. See how, what the speed limit on this road out here is. Cause like I said, I want to use the bike. Uh, but I've done a lot of thinking on this and a lot of homework too. I don't want to use the Himalayan because I don't want to put delivery bike miles on the Himalayan. I want to keep it solid. So... I think I would just demolish the monkey if I used it. I'd just tear it up just due to the miles. I'm looking at possibly putting 20,000 miles on the, a bike a year doing this. So I'll probably have to like trade in every year and make up the difference with my taxes is my guess of how that's going to end up working out. So that means I have to trade in the monkey, which the monkey's not making me any money anyway, so it's just a toy. So I might have to let it go be sad about it but I gotta be pragmatic here so for a delivery bike what am I getting I've kind of got it narrowed down to two with a third thrown in there uh, the main one I'm looking at really is the Honda Trail 125 I think that'd make a good delivery bike uh, mainly because it's got that big ass rack and the uh, the engine is totally exposed so all of the uh, maintenance and things I have to do on the bike I don't have to take any plastics and shit off I just, it's right there I can rebuild that engine in less than 30 minutes so that, that's a big one uh, the other one is the Super Cub similar bike a little smaller rack and I got to remove some plastics to get to the engine in a quarter mile, turn left on uh, but the other main left. contender is actually a scooter uh, the Piaggio Liberty 150 for three grand, other bike's $29.95. So for three grand, I'm getting like 13 horsepower, so it's got more power than any of the Honda Mini motors. Turn left onto Virginia 39 West. It's got a true step through frame, so getting on and off the bike with a box on the back of it or anything would be really nice. But that's handy. Now I know Piaggio makes a good product. Uh, they own Vespa, if you didn't know who that was. And uh, the only real concern I have with that bike is maintenance on it. Because with a scooter, it's tough to get to the motor. So doing like valve adjustments and things, I don't know 
I've had plenty of scooters in my day, so I'm kind of familiar with them. I just don't know about the wear and tear I'm going to put on one. Continue on Do I need, you know, rapid access to the engine? And if I'm just going to trade it in every year, is that really a, something I need to concern myself with anyways? So I got some decisions to make. I know what you guys are going to say, so it's hard to hard for me to say. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Because I know every damn one of you is going to say, Trail 125, Trail 125. When the Liberty is actually a pretty viable option. So I'm kind of back and forth on that. I got some more thinking to do. Because I don't want to use my car all the time. I, I want to keep this as a backup. And then the Himalayan will be the backup to the backup. So that's the kind of shit I'm talking about right there. I did over 12 miles for that guy for a $5.60 order, no tip. What a bunch of crap. Come on people, if you're in Buena Vista, tip. Tip your damn drivers though, they're gonna quit coming over here. We are gonna swing by Uncle Voodoo's house because I live in this poor town too. So I know what it's like to be poor. I'm out here driving this old ass car, making the, making the mad money. So I can buy a new bike. So I can do this cheaper or more efficiently and get out of a shitty job. So we are gonna go to Uncle Voodoo's house for a second. So I can get a drink and I gotta make pee pee. Oh, look at that Himalayan sitting there. It wants somebody to come out and ride it. I can't because it's snowy and rainy. And I gotta make the donuts. Oh, I got an order. Is I have a DoorDash order for McKinsey? I ain't got one. In the context that you present it is hardly uh, a All right, we got that one delivered. Now we're going to do a pro move. I don't know if you guys can see the guy behind me getting in his car right now. We're at the drive-thru at McDon or at Burger King. He comes up and asks me, hey man, you got $2? My order was $2 more than what I got. I'm like, what the fuck did you order so much shit? <laughs> he ain't got enough money. He's begging for money for $2 from everybody up and down the drive-thru. <laughs> Dumbass. He's got to eat on the fly. snowplow needs to hurry up he's got to realize I've got Taco Bell in the bag I gotta go all right so that girl gave me the wrong address I had to drive 10 miles outside of town turn around drive 10 miles back in a blizzard at 30 miles an hour on a 50 mile on a 55 mile an hour road and I'm still early I'm gonna make it with one minute to spare